Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 17W47B. This is the second snapshot this week, and there are a lot of bug fixes and a lot of optimizations from the A snapshot. And I want to cover some of the changes, as well as some of the changes I forgot from the first snapshot yesterday. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first change from yesterday's snapshot is to levers. If I go ahead and place a lever down here and then turn it on, you'll see that it emits a little bit of redstone dust particles. And this is presumably to allow you to identify when a lever is on or when it's turned off just by looking for those small red particles right there that you see coming off of this lever. So that's a pretty great change. Another change from yesterday's snapshot is that note blocks can be pushed and pulled by pistons because they are no longer tile entities. And this has some big implications for if you're using note blocks in conjunction with slime blocks because the slime blocks will now pull the note blocks up whereas before they used to just leave them behind and only the slime block would extend. So that is somewhat of a big change that you need to be aware of. The next change is to silverfish blocks. So if I hit F3, you can see this right here is a silverfish block while this one is not. And you can see it takes a little while to mine the stone, but the silverfish block is now mined instantly. And this also takes place with your hand. So if I go ahead and punch this one, you see even in survival, the silverfish blocks will break instantly. And that is a huge change. That's going to make silverfish a lot more dangerous because you can no longer rely on the slow mining of silverfish blocks to protect you in biomes like the extreme hills where silverfish blocks are found or in the strongholds as well. I also had a few questions on Twitter and on YouTube if you could make a snow golem with a non-carved pumpkin and the answer is you cannot. It has to be a carved pumpkin for both the snow golems and the iron golems. One other minor change from the A snapshot is that the slightly damaged anvil has been renamed to the chipped anvil, and the very damaged anvil is now simply the damaged anvil. The final change I want to show you guys is that some blocks such as repeaters, torches, and comparators, which used to have no bottom texture, now have a bottom texture on all of them. Now on to the 14W47B changes. It is now possible to make all the trapdoor variants just by simply putting your spruce planks in the crafting table like you expect, just six wood planks like this, and that'll get you your various different types of trapdoors. Also new in the B snapshot, remember when I told you guys yesterday that all these bark blocks are for creative only? Well, that has now been changed, and you can now craft them in survival. The way you do that is you go into a crafting table, take four logs, and place them in a two by two like this, and that gets you three bark blocks, which has the log texture on every side. And the same for the other types of logs to get the other bark blocks. There's spruce bark, birch bark, jungle bark, etc. So that is an amazing change. Bark blocks have now been added to the survival Minecraft game. And of course there were a whole plethora of bug fixes in this B snapshot. And those will be linked in the change log below. Anyways guys, that's it for me today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.